Come on, then. <laughs> this grows tiring. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at yet another animated feature with a Cape Crusader, Batman, Soul of the Dragon. Growing up, I have probably always been a Marvel Comics guy more than a DC Comics, with X-Men being at the very top of the list. I grew up that way and owned way too many X-Men comics to ever go back. With that said, there is one thing that I have enjoyed from DC that I have never embraced with Marvel, and that is with their animation. Even with Disney buying out Marvel, the animated features and TV series put out never reached the quality of DC and Warner Brothers ever produced. With that said, almost every Batman feature, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Justice League animation have turned out pretty well, leaving my collection pretty full at this time. Unfortunately, the last animated feature from the DC Universe was Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons, and I was fairly disappointed. With Batman's new feature, looking into his younger years, hopes to revive my hope, or is it just another cash-in feature? Batman, Soul of the Dragon, was produced by Warner Brothers Animation and released by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment in 2021. The feature consists of Batman's younger days of learning martial arts as Bruce Wayne, where the Bat doesn't yet exist. The feature does many flashbacks from the present to the past, explaining each character and their relation to the current criminal activities. The story and pacing are done well and develops all the main characters quite nicely. What I like most about the feature is that it isn't Batman that we know and love. As the Batman is still fairly young, he is still the weakest of the characters and does take a backseat in many ways, understanding that he isn't the best, but he is still humble, vulnerable, and thinks more than fights. His companions consist of Richard Dragon, Lady Shiva, Ben Turner, and Master O Sensei, all of which seem to have an influence of how Batman grows up while learning from O Sensei. The visuals are pretty suspect here in comparison to many other Batman animations. I feel the use of color and sound was well done for the time era it was trying to represent, but the detail in characters were a bit too simple for me where they could have used more. The animations were a bit stiff for me at times, but when it came to the case of action, the action was developed quite well. All the action on screen was animated flawlessly and a bliss to watch. I know now where they put all their time into, which was in the action, fighting sequences, explosions, gunfire, to the nice choreographed pacing throughout the feature. Voice acting was done well as well with DC and Warner features and is not for the younger audience. Along with the story and well done developed characters, Batman really seems in equal standing if not taking the lead role in this one. His companions seem more of a focus here where even the Bat knows he is outmatched at times. The feature is not the best Batman I have seen with Son of Batman being some of the best animation story and pacing I have ever seen put together, but this one does have the same fantastic action and animation you love to see. 
If you were disappointed with Deathstroke like I was, this feature is definitely a bounce back in the right direction. But of course, it is a Batman to bring you back. Batman, Soul of the Giant, gets an 8.0 out of 10 for animation that can be stiff at times and needs a bit more details, but flourishes in its action, story, and character development that forces a younger Batman to take a backseat to his companions, something you will never see the Bat do. That's it for me on this look at the newest animated feature with Batman. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Damn.